Hi Ella, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Frontier Trailer Building. Would you like to go in and uh, take a tour of the facility? All right, we'll need you to put these on. Here we go. Hi, I'm Ella Blickley. I'm from Kimberly, Idaho, and today we're gonna be touring the Frontier Trailers in Missoula, Montana. All right, Ella, you ready? Yeah. High five, here we go. So Ella, this is where all the aluminum comes in off of semi-trucks from all over the country. We bring it back here, stage it up, and it's ready from here to go to a cut shop. So Ella, right here is our cut shop. Basically, when a person puts in a order for a trailer, it comes down here on a work order. These guys have the prints here. He's cutting everything up. It'll get staged onto this cart in a particular order where it'll move up to the weld shop. What is this going to be? This is actually a custom car hauler we're gonna be welding up today, going down to production. So after this is all welded up, the crane will flip it over and it'll move into production. How long does it usually take for it to be welded together? This is a pretty big trailer, so this one's gonna take approximately two hours. So you can see here, the base has been flipped over. We have tires on, axles are in. These guys are starting to weld the jacks in, put the bulkhead on. So it looks like a flatbed now, but this is actually gonna be an enclosed car hauler. All right, Alex, so you can see the trailer's getting welded up here. It's a custom order trailer. You can see they're welding in all the roof radius right now, getting all the roof studs put in. Well, you can see here, we moved into the prep. Everything's been welded. These guys are installing the roof right now. At that point, they'll also be putting in all the decking, the flooring, wiring all the inside, and getting it ready to move up to get the side panels put on. So you can see in this spot, they've installed the flooring. Now, when they do that, we have all kinds of different options. This is quad ply, it's more durable. You can have the rubber flooring. We have a vinyl flooring you could put on or just some standard wood products that we use also. They're pulling all the wiring through. This will come down. They'll connect actually a breaker box in here and it'll run all the way throughout the trailer. Why do you guys use aluminum? Uh, one of the benefits to aluminum trailers is they're super lightweight. So when you go to tow anything, when you have your pig trailer that's hauling 12 pigs in it. You want something light that you can tow around. They've got the side panels on. These guys are inside. They're doing all the caulking and siliconing around the perimeter. This keeps it weatherproof, so no water is coming in, anything like that. Where does it go after this? It goes up to the trim, where the guy's gonna be putting all the exterior trim on. You can see they're getting all the bottom trim on. They'll put these fenders on. They'll work their way all the way around the trailer. You can see the top is getting trimmed up and installed. So after this is installed here, it'll go up to get our ramps and doors on, and it'll head up to the finish area where they'll do the same thing. Do the quality control check, make sure everything matches the work order. And from there, it'll go out these doors and out to a dealership. All right, Ella, this thing is done and ready for delivery. Let's go check it out. This one has additional length in the tack area. We have powder coated gates, which we'll open up and check out. Your drop down feed windows. You have the Bigfoot hydraulic jack, which will get you up and down here. Spare tire. You want to check out the inside? Sure. All right, let's do it. You have your breaker box for all your 110, your hatch shelf, battery down there. It gives you tons more storage space up here in the top and in the inside. A couple of cool options in this one that you see, the powder coated gates. This is so uh, when you have the aluminum, it doesn't get your pigs dirty, right? So two AC units, um, keep your pigs cool. The LED rope lighting in here makes a nice effect. We have the feeders, the drop down feed windows, and also tons of different outlets in here if you ever need power in here. Do you know where this trailer is going to? This trailer is actually going to California. It is a surprise for the Timothy sisters. I know them. Do you? Awesome. Well, you think they'll like it? Yep. Great. Well, we really appreciate coming to Missoula, Montana, checking out our facility, how we build Frontier trailers. And it's always awesome to have somebody see it that actually owns a Frontier trailer. So we wanna wish you best of luck in your shows coming up and all the best. 
Thanks for having me. This is fun. You're welcome. <laughs>